Well, here's a face that you may not recognize yet, but you will do. You might recognize the torso and the rest of the body. And if I say to you, Jack Law, I'm sexy and I know it, Perhaps you'd like to explain what on earth <laughs> I'm saying and why I've said it to you, because it seems a bit weird me saying that to you. Yeah, um, well, me and the other uh, Team GB divers, Tom Daly, Chris Mears, Nick, the physios, Tonya, everyone, and I trip to Australia. Uh, we made a, a lip sync remix of uh, LMFBO, Sexy and I Know It, and it has gone viral on YouTube. <laughs> and whose idea was that? Um, it was Tom's idea. Um, and he got all the things together, he got a, he bought a camera for it, he, he got all of the equipment that we needed and everything like that. And it was shot over about four or five days, just doing three training sessions, but we had nothing to do. Really? So sort of training sessions got in the way, yeah. unfortunately, of <laughs> your budding um, uh, MTV career. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, it, was, it was really fun. Did you need some yeah. persuading to do it? Did it look no. like it? No, not really. <laughs> it, it, it sounded like absolute great fun when Tom was kind of explaining to us. Um, it was absolutely amazingly fun to do it. Um, I mean, it's just nice break because we train really hard for five, six hours a day and then when we're on the beach, we have to do it for us, make most out of it. Yeah, well, uh, Jack, uh, as I said, people may not know who you are yet. Hopefully, you've got plans to, to change yeah. that. Tell you what you are. You are the 2010 double world and European junior champion. That's in the, in the two springboard events. Yeah. Not too shabby. <laughs> yeah. And then last June, your first sort of senior year, I believe you finished, was it eighth? Eight, in the world championships yeah. in the senior. Yeah. And how old are you? Uh, I was 16 then. I've just turned 17. You've just now. turned 17. Oh, well, you're getting pretty old now, then. <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, is Tom leading the way a bit, sort of a bit of an inspiration to you that he's only a year older than you, isn't he? Or not even a year older than you? Yeah, we're the same age now, but yeah, he definitely is. Same school year, are you, perhaps? Uh, no, he's one year above me. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, but he's led the way, hasn't he, in yeah, terms of a, a kid who's becoming a man and is, sh shows that anybody can do it. Yeah, he's, he's such an inspiration. Um, I mean, at such a young age, he was 14 when he won the World Championships. I mean, not many people can do that and uh, be from the same country the same kind of age group also a very nice person to speak to him. a really good friend and he is very inspiring and I've got one of his footsteps. And the good news is the media always like to like to create rivalries but the good news is he does the uh, the platform and the synchro and you do the springboard yeah. so you know just go and win everything guys. <laughs> yeah no, I mean platform and springboard are two completely different events and it is nice if the media do compare me and Tom sometimes but um, then you have to realise that Springboard moves and a platform stays still with a, a seven meter height difference. So yeah. Why the springboard, not the uh, not the platform then? Um, Heights? <laughs> uh, that a little bit, but I, I used to do both um, platform and springboard. But um, 14 years old, I broke my arm like very badly, and that took me down from 10 but, meters. When you died, you broke your arm dying. Uh, I, I was warming up for a qualifier for the European Championships yep. before I won it. Okay. Uh, on a trampoline. And it, it, Completely snapped in half, and basically for quite a while I didn't think I was strong enough to go up on 10 meter, so I stuck to 3 meter for a couple of months. Found out that I was actually pretty good at it when I put all my effort into that and um, kind of spiraled from there. Well, you're doing very well, and as I said, you were eighth last year, and, and obviously there's a great room for improvement with you and, and even physical development as well. So, realistically, what, what is, never mind people like me, what are your uh, objectives for, for the year? Because I don't know whether you know or not, it's quite a big year this year. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it's a huge year. Um, obviously, every athlete's kind of main goal in life and to take it seriously is to attend the Olympics, and I'd love to do that. Finishing eighth at the World Championships, got my GB, uh, it got a placement, so one uh, license, which could be me or Chris, but Chris has now got an opportunity to get another one at the World Cup. So I'd, I'd love to attend the Olympics. This is, this is Chris? Me as Chris Mears from South So it's basically you or him, is it, for that place? Yeah, um, but Chris has got another chance now to get another one, so it could be me and him instead of me or him. Oh, that'd be fantastic, yeah, wouldn't it? I'd, I'd love to do it with me and him together. Now you've got the World Cup event yeah. coming up uh, very shortly yeah. at the London Aquatic Centre. It's so doubling up as an Olympic test event. Have you, uh, uh, presumably you've been there, but not really, you've not competed there, have you? No, I've, I've had a look around. Um, it looks absolutely sensational. Um, the, the entire Olympic park looks incredible, but um, I can't wait to get into the water, dive in there, and compete in front of quite a, a large crowd. Well, here's the thing, Jack. Just, just imagine, if you would, for a second, that place full and 99% 
willing you on, supporting yeah. you, hey? That'd be absolutely amazing. I can't even begin to imagine how good, good it would feel, but I can only look forward to it, and I've got to keep working hard to be able to certify that I am there. So realistically, without putting pressure, well, forget pressure, you know, you've got your own standards, haven't you, Jack? Um, realistically, uh, make the Olympics and what make the final then whatever well, happens from there obviously I have to make the final um, on the basis you finished eighth in the world that's yeah. not a completely stupid no, idea not, is it's it not a stupid idea um, I was I'm not gonna like lie I was pretty lucky I did finish 18th in the prelim which is the very cut off line only by a couple of points separating ah, you, you did all you had to do Jack no, exactly see? I did everything I had to do but it's like getting I your grades at A level no more yeah. huh? exactly I'd love to I'd love to be able to better that to try and make the final at World Cup. I'd, I'd love to be where I finished at the World Championships last year in the Olympics, so if I finished the World Cup, it would be absolutely amazing. Now the reality is, although you're not that much younger than, than Tom, you are basically a year younger than Tom. We've all got to just go easy here, haven't we? Tom set the bar very, very high, yeah. or dare I say the platform very high. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, you're, you're not far off behind them, but perhaps for you, uh, 2012 may become a year or two too early. I mean, they're never early, but you know what I mean? Uh, perhaps we'll be seeing the best of you in two, three years' time. Yeah, um... Well, a normal springboard diver kind of peaks around the age of about 23, 24. Um, and obviously being 17, I'm a good six years off that. Yeah. Um, so Rio on onwards. Rio, Rio yeah. I, I, I think Rio um, my best games, but a couple of years back, I didn't even be kind of uh, hope in hell of making the Olympics, and I've come this far already, so maybe... Maybe this could be the year. Now, a lot of influential people are saying a lot of nice things about British diving and about you. Your coach, Alexei, has already said, you know, we may have the next uh, Tom Daly. Poor old Tom. He said, where, where have I gone then? I'm still here. And uh, the great Greg Luganis yeah. has even said, wow, what's what's happening to British diving? Um, that's nice to know. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, I mean, he's a sporting agent for Greg Luganis. Um, for him to compliment me and Tom, um, say that we're possibly the, the new future in diving, that's, that's such a feeling that kind of, kind of makes all of my work that I've been doing worthwhile, you know that I could actually be. Yeah. Just don't smack your head like uh, <laughs> like Greg Luganis did, huh? No, I do that, yeah, definitely. That looked very, very that painful. Very painful yeah. um, now, uh, but, but I mean, we've got Pete Waterfield still here, obviously. Um, we'll be doing the Cinco with Tom. He's a silver medalist from, yeah. from 2004 with Leon Taylor. I'm getting the feeling that British diving is rather like quite a few British Olympic sports really beginning to, to gather steam. Yeah. Having not had a perhaps a massive story of success in the past, but now it really is beginning to gather steam. Yeah, it's kind of um, kind of snowball and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, we've got loads and loads of people coming through in the yeah. sport and bring more and more platforms, so it is really, really open for the later games like Rio and so on and so forth. Now, two final things, then we'll let you go. Uh, or three final things, actually. First of all, you're still at school, obviously. So you've got to try and... You should be at school now, for goodness sake. <laughs> do they know? That, are you at Ripon Grammar School? Yeah, Ripon. Do they know you're here bunking off? <laughs> should I report you to the head? Uh, yeah, they do know I'm here. They've, they've been very supportive. They give me um, a lot of work to do while I'm here, so... It's kind of... I'm kind of self-studying half of my A-levels, to be honest. It's kind of hard to what are you doing for A-level? Uh, this year, I'm doing chemistry and... Uh, right. Uh, you have to think about that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I was going to say maths, but ne next year I'm doing maths, so I'll do. I'll finish chemistry and PE next year, and I'll start maths next year. Okay, two final quickies. The unmistakable Yorkshire accent there. Yeah. Uh, you come from the People's Republic of Yorkshire, <laughs> and you hope to be representing Yorkshire and England and GB uh, at the Olympics. Yeah. So come on, what, how Yorkshire are you? Um. <laughs> Yorkshire pudding. Well, All the time? Yeah. With everything? Almost everything. Yeah, you took you too young to drink, obviously, I'm sure alcohol's never passed your lips. But if it were to in the future, a good old Yorkshire ale. Yeah, definitely. Uh Leeds United? Uh yes. Yeah? Yeah. Fantastic. And the surname. Pronounced law. Yeah. Definitely not spelt that. Uh, How many what, what have you heard over the years from people? What, what have you been called? Uh Laughter, Lawer, Laughter, Laugh. Uh, louder, everything. Except law. <laughs> no, except law, yeah. I, yeah. It's really peculiar. I don't even know where it comes from. Well, we will know where you come from, Jack, very soon. Uh, best of luck. Yeah. We'll keep tabs on you over the course of the year. And uh, if tell you what, if you uh, say you reach Olympic final, OK, uh, I'd be interested to see what uh, video you do in celebration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 
Liverpool Boston tomorrow, I don't know. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you.